Well, here's the next day. This morning I wake up, I pump with the Air Venturi Nomad 2, bring back to 250 bar, and the seal is leaking. You hear this? So, I have to get another nip for this cap. But right now, let's do the test. I can fix the seal later. Most likely, allow the seal to break, empty the air chamber. Then, we can replace the seal. We can replace the seal after. Now, let's go ahead and uh, test this. So, back to 250 bar. So, I have a leak, air leak from a Hassan Blitz. I went ahead and took the gun apart. I'll show you how to do it fairly quick. Um, over here, uh, somewhere in the bottom here. Wait, let me grab the other piece. So what I did is, very simply, when you put this back, like that, there's an Allen wrench, this hole right here. You use a number 5 matrix, you pull the bolt out, loosen the bolt, this whole thing come apart. It's only held by one bolt, okay? And after that, um, my fill probe, after I fill my air, this is what happened. I have my fill probe in it. After I fill my air, I pulled it out. There's a hissing sound. Won't stop. Just lose. Just losing uh, psi, losing air through here. It's not coming from anywhere else. I I went on the Hassan uh, manual, user manual. Blitz. His manual says you gotta pull the bolt back and do a bunch of other things. I did all that. Uh, the hissing sound still there. So I am attempting to very carefully taking this part and safely. So what's happening is I haven't taken this off. This is a one inch and one sixteenth of inch wrench. Instead, go by that. Uh, let me show you what happened. Don't take this off. You want to relieve the pressure first. Okay. Uh, originally, it looks like this. Okay. When it looks like this, there is two bolts here. One goes in here, one goes in there. Do not touch these two bolts. These two bolts do not touch them until you relieve the pressure. The way you relieve the pressure is with this pressure relief valve right here, okay? So what happened is, make sure you grab a thick one. Don't use a skinny piece. It has to be thick, perfectly fit this. This is kind of a wide knot uh, piece, okay? And what I would do is, there's two seals in here. They're both fine. They're not leaking from these two seals. But this is a pressure relief valve. So you slowly do a quarter turn. First off, let the air leak out as much as it can. So I left for half day. I dropped down to about. Uh, let me see if the camera can zoom in. Come on, camera. Okay, it went from 200 bar, went down to 100 bar. Just kind of stayed there for a few hours. I went ahead, gotta watch this, and do a quarter turn slowly. Okay, it takes about 15 to 20 turns before this thing comes loose. But go ahead and do a quarter turn, just a little bit, let the air out, and the air pressure will slowly, it will come out quite a bit, even at 100 bar. Okay, and it will slowly uh, diminishing. Then I'll do another quarter turn, the air pressure will bring up, up again, and you slowly do one quarter turn, let the air come out and die down, come out and die down. About two turns, I went from 100 bar to uh, zero, then I loosen it up, let the rest of the air out, okay? Even at 100 bar, it's about 1100 to 1200 psi. Your tire pressure is 30 to 40 psi. Just imagine you're at 1000 to 1200 psi. The pressure is enormous. So if you let off too quick, it might blow. Okay? So I gotta be careful. If you don't feel comfortable doing this, please send it back to Hassan. Alright? So, um, after I did that, I took out these two bolts. I relieved all the pressure. I took these two bolts off. Okay, you can tell. Let me just turn the camera around. Okay, there is a. Uh, let me go and put this back together, just the way it, it was. This little piece right here goes in, and there's a little pin. 
it's a pin and spring and goes in here okay the way to untwist this is very hard on, onto it so i'm still trying to figure out which seal am i dealing with so you see there's one seal right here apparently i didn't hear noise out of this there's two seal right here i'm going to slightly lubricate with silicone oil okay silicone oil i'm not going to it's very dry i'm not going to over loop that um you probably don't have to loop at all period don't do it uh but i'm going to do it but you don't have to do it the looks like at, oh, oh hold on the leverage is here okay so what i did is i use this this piece and right lefty loosey not righty tidy lefty loosey okay so i put this thing it's impossible to do this so i put this piece with that don't do not twist this tiny piece okay don't twist twist from here okay i put this on a vise if you don't have a vise please don't do it i put on a vise clamp from here to there didn't touch the bottle and i slowly twist this off okay there's no air pressure it's already relieved so again if you're not comfortable doing this don't do it because you might hurt yourself okay make sure that all the air is below there's no more air pressure in here you don't want to scratch this also if you don't have a vise um, what is a vise? Let me show you what a vise is. If, you, if people doesn't know, this is a vise. Okay. This is the location. I had it. Alright. Get a camera to face correctly. This is a vise. Okay. You, can, you clamp this down. In here. Clamp this down in there. Okay. Then you twist it. You don't twist the bottle, you twist the little cap. Alright, let me pause the video and rearrange this table. Alright, next. So what, I need to figure out where the leak coming from. I was going to take this off. Uh, I don't have the wrench because it's 1 inch and 1 16th. I don't have that. So I need to figure out where the air is pumping. So it looks like, looks like the air is pumping through this hole. The tiny hole in the bottom. The top is just a mark. Uh, just a mark down. Let me see if I can get the camera to zoom correctly. Okay. And this little valve slide in there. There. Holding the holding the air back. So you, you know we know there's two holes here for the fill probe. So let's go ahead and put fill probe back in. Okay, I'm going to blow on this and you'll see this thing pops out. Okay? So you can do this. You see it pops out? I'm gonna put it back in. All right. So, uh, I believe that's the that's the valve is leaking. It's not pressing down enough. Let me try again. Yeah. So if I'm holding it, let me hold holding using my finger. Push that in. Push that valve in. There's no way for me to pump air. Okay. Press air in it. So that's where the air is coming. So I believe this is the corporate. This little valve. For me, is the corporate didn't seal correctly. Okay, and here is a little regulator. They give a little tiny piece of air. So nothing to do with this, guys. Uh, maybe just a slight lubricant or a neat. But maybe don't loop it because it is dry air. You don't want to have any oil in this. I don't want to have any oil in this. So I'm going to look through Hassan's kit. See, do they have a spare O-rings for me? Uh, this is the only two, there's three o-ring bag. There's one o-ring like this. There's a few like this, and there's a few like that. So this o-ring, gotta be careful, because if I don't have the exact o-ring, it's gonna suck. So now those are, now this are correct o-rings. Now these guys are. So I don't have the correct o-rings from Hassan. What I'm going to do, I'm just gonna, it's a brand new gun, maybe just a slight seating issue. I'm gonna just twist it slightly, slowly, and put the gun back together, see if it's still hissing. Hopefully not. What I'm going to do again, um, I'm going to pump out to maybe uh, just a little air, maybe 200, 300 psi, maybe 50 bar, 30 to 40 bar, and see will this leak. And that's my fix for my Hassan air leaking. I'm going to try that right now, but I know for sure it's this air. So what looks like the way they did it is, let me move the camera again. The way they did it is, uh, 
okay the air comes in this chamber there's another hole on top you see that hole on top is linked directly into the air tube so I'm proceeding the air is being fed by this and that and this piece is the one seal the the air so once I mess with this this should be okay so I'm going to put this back together and try this experiment again and hopefully fix it so uh, I went ahead and took this off carefully very carefully uh, use a little white oil you can get a white oil if you want this is the oil I'm gonna use I can also use silicone oil it's a clipper oil um, lasts very long gets everywhere so I took this off and I found one of the bag because I have many air um, I have an air pump and an air gun and it looks like there's another seal in here looks almost identical to this one literally identical to this one so I'm going to put the old one back in here I'm gonna stick the new one in here Oh, this is going to be difficult. I'm going to stick the new one in here. Okay. Looks like it's almost identical seal. I'll put that in there. Okay. So I'm going to put this back. Hopefully this will fix the issue. This might be Hassan's bag. He might already have an O-ring they, they come with. Okay, I just got a great idea. Um, the seal looks fine. The new seal, I put it in. I'm going, to, I'm going to twist it around just a little bit. Make sure it's not all out of shape. Should go back to exact shape. Okay. Put it back. Back. Now, I'm going to clean the little hole inside of this. And the way to do it is... Give a little isotopin alcohol. Pull the quick probes out. Just go into that hole. Twist around. Could be some debris in there. Go into the hole. Twist around a little bit. Really clean around that seal. And then they use the see the camera can, can catch this. bottom hole just kind of clean it up a little bit very smooth a little dirty I think just some debris I use a dry one to clean it I believe just some debris was stuck in there when uh, when the air pump was going all right and then we'll put the seal back in so the seal is there's a back pressure to the seal and I'm looking at this I believe this is the one holding the seal back that looks fine everything looks good so let's put this back together okay seal is back in this little hole right here that's where it handles the, the pin drop the straight back in there Pins should show up on the other side. The seal is comp the seal is compressed in here. I'm going to tie this back in. To tighten it, I'm going right this way. This is tightening. This is loosening. Loosen. Okay. Tighten. Loosen. Tighten. Okay. Tie this back in. So nothing blows up. Okay. It's plenty of tight. It's in there. Not going anywhere. Now let's go ahead and put this. The pin is good. Let's put this thing back into the gun. Before I do that, I want to just double check my release valve. My air release valve right here.
air release valve looks really good, really tight. Go ahead and just do a little cleaning. Around the first tiny little seal. So it's conditioned. Okay. A lot of debris right there. Wipe it clean. Tighten back up the air release valve. You can't really pull it out, looks like. Looks like it is a... Uh... Uh, it's blocked by this meter unless you pull the meter out I don't want to pull, pull the meter out so I'm gonna leave the meter exactly where it is the less things I I mess with better okay the air seal is tight it's tightened back in okay it's tight now uh, next is the bolts okay I'm going to put the bolts back in the gun. Okay, very carefully marry this together. Let me get a better angle. There. Very carefully. Marry this back together. Okay. Now, slide the bolt back in. Make sure it catches. Slide the bolt back in. Make sure it catches. It did. Go the other direction. Make sure the bolt catches. This is already tightened, so I'm just tightening the, the wrist assembly. Now the gun should be good to go. After you tighten this together. Uh, wondering how tight should I go? You don't over tighten, just enough hand tight. I don't believe this will blow. Because it is locking with the gun. Okay. I don't believe this will shoot forward or anything like that. So for the second. Oh, never mind the Donnie sticker. For the second. Um, just precaution. Just slide this back in. Slide this way back in. Okay. So hopefully this will grab the air tank. All right. Now, let's tighten the tighten this piece. Again, I just use Donnie's uh, silencer. Does not mean Donnie endorses anything I do. Okay, so don't be mistaken. There's anything to do with Donnie. I just using their silencer, and they sent a sticker, and I decided to cover up Hassan with the Donnie sticker. Okay, let's go ahead and pump this up, see if there's any hissing noise comes out. Right now it's at zero pressure. Zero pressure. Zero bar. I'm going to put about 30 to 40 and slowly going up and see if a hissing noise is fixed. Okay, just to recap, you can download this uh, from Hassan's website. It's an explode version of the gun, Hassan Blitz. Okay, it will show you all the parts. So by having this, it's very convenient. I did not take the air tube off. Didn't take the air tube off. I didn't mess with any of this. Uh, this is the fill probe right here. I don't. Uh, I didn't mess with this uh, gauge. Didn't touch that gauge. And this is the valve. I was talking about the uh, relief valve. So I see two O-rings. That's how I figured that could be the air release valve. And as soon as I did that, the air releases slowly. Those are the two bolts. Okay. And this, we see this. Um, yeah. Interesting, I, I, I didn't see this. Oh, I, I saw the O-ring, I saw this. I didn't see this thing. 2413. 
it didn't fall out, it was just on the table. Without this, I didn't see any of these things. This could still be embedded inside the tube. Interesting. Okay. To keep everything safe, I did about 50 bars right now in the dial. So I have 50 bars. This should be okay. Do 50 bar. Fifty bar, take a look. See if we still hear any hissing sound. The hissing sound went away. No hissing. Perfect. Let's go to 100 bar. One hundred bar. Let's take a look. See, is there any hissing sound? I'm gonna pull the fill probe. No noise. I believe it's fixed. Let's go ahead and leave. Let's go and leave this overnight to tomorrow and see if there's any changes. Uh, it's a hundred bar. A little over a hundred bar, I think, currently. So, tomorrow we'll take a look. This is the next day, it holds 100 bar, perfectly fine, and I'm charging my ATM scope. This ATM scope I use more than two months now, only charge it once when I, when I got it. This is the second time, it should be the first time you ch I charged it after use, uh, after two months. And I use maybe 10 to 15 minutes a day, uh, every other day, so it's pretty good. Maybe like 5-6 hours already, it's down to 20%. That's incredible. The battery on the ATM. Uh, 4X sight scope. Night vision scope. Amazing battery. <laughs> 200 bar. Still no hissing sound, look like it's fixed. Going to 250 now. Let it sit for a few minutes, then we'll do 250. Going to go 250 bar maximum for a spec and see the last 50 bars from 200 to 250. Sit, sit. A lot of water. Take a look at this.
No hissing sound. Fully fixed, 250 bar. Double check. This is good. It's dry. That's very good. Release the gas off that. Let's leave this thing in there. It's not too hot. But it shows. 250 bar. 